What is going on guys? It is Venture Light here and today I'm back with another video and today we're gonna be talking about who is going to be the next Messi and Ronaldo. Alright, let's get into it. So lonely on the east side. I don't give a fuck. I keep it real. I'm not gonna let it slide. Now she see me up. She let me fuck want me to come. 2020. The year of the start of the new decade. Although this year has been absolute dog, this is the year that starts off this new 2020 decade. And in this new 2020 decade, some of our most beloved and looked up to football players are going to be coming to an end to their career. They're going to be retiring and it is officially an end of an era. Players like Messi, Ronaldo, Buffon, Hazard, all of these top players that we have been watching for these past years are all coming to the end of their era. And it is now to look into the new future, to the new generation, to see who is going to be dominating the world of football this next decade. Don't get me wrong, the players that have been dominating the past can dominate in the first coming years, but I'm talking about the entire decade. All right, without further ado, let's begin. In this specific video, I'm going to be naming five players that I think are going to be dominating the world of football this next decade. But if you think I have missed any players, leave them in the comments. You already know. All right, so let's get the obvious one out of the way. Kylian Mbappe. <sighs> Mbappe is insane. I don't even need to explain to you guys how good he is. You guys know this guy literally has a World Cup under his belt before he turned 20. He was already in the Champions League with a team that has never made it to the past the semifinals ever in their entire life. But Mbappe is destined for greatness and it's not a one year wonder. No, he did it in Monaco, he went to PSG, he did it with France and he is only going uphill from there. He already said that by the end of this season, he is willing to leave PSG. There have already been talks that he's literally gonna replace Ronaldo, he's gonna get number seven in Real Madrid, but obviously we don't know. He can literally go anywhere, but I think like a player like Mbappe should expand his horizon. And if you already won, in the French League. You already got to the final of the Champions League. You already got a World Cup. Why not expand? Why not try out new leagues? And this guy is literally like younger than most fucking players that can even be in the Champions League squad. Like this man is literally insane. I cannot wait to see him in his prime. All right, so next on the list we have Jaden Sancho, one of my personal upcoming favorite players. He, this guy is insane. He is gonna be the future of English football. English football I know has a lot of youngsters like Mason Greenwood, Phil Foden, uh, Mason Mount, uh, Tamori, you know, all, all, and they're all good, don't get me wrong. They, they can all be great, great players. But Jaden Sancho is looking like the new fucking deal. Look at this guy, man. First of all, he's 20. All right, he's literally fucking 20. He had already debuted in the Bundesliga back in 2017. Although in his first year, he only played 12 games, got one goal and four assists, which is actually very good for a debutant youngster, an English footballer that is not used to the Bundesliga way to come up. That's a pretty good start. And then in his next season, in 34 games, he gets 12 goals and 14 assists. As a winger, in his literal second season barely for Dortmund that's that that's insane but his third year in 32 games he got 17 goals and 16 assists this guy is barely 20 and he is doing that don't get me wrong I don't think he's as good as Mbappe but he could be in the later long run he is fast he's skillful he's just he has a great idea on the ball and he can literally be dominating the right hand wing for a very long time Jaden Sancho is definitely a prodigy and a lot of teams want him and I can clearly see why. Another player which is honestly even younger than the ones that I previously just mentioned and you're like what the fuck how is this guy even younger? This kid is 17 and on his first ever start with the Spanish national team he fucking scores. I don't care about what you, he fucking scores. Ansu Fati is gonna be amazing. He literally debuted this season with 16 years old. He played 24 matches. A lot of those matches were not starts, but in those 24 matches, he got seven goals and one assist for a 17, 16 year old in one of the most competitive leagues 
in the entire world. That is absolutely phenomenal. Ansu Fati, he's Barcelona's future. Him and Ricky Puig, they're supposed to be coming up. They're gonna come up and Ansu Fati, he has the potential to become Barca's new guy. Will he become it? We don't know. Will he leave? We don't know. Barca are already saying that they're gonna put a 500 million buyout clause on this 17 year old. Just wrap, wrap your mind about that thought. Barcelona put a 500 million release clause on a 17 year old. That should say enough. Okay, before I get into the other players, just take a second. Take a second and think about this front three. Ansu Fati on the left hand side, Mbappe at striker, and Jaden Sancho on the right hand side. That's dangerous. I'm literally getting in danger just by thinking. Nah, no, that's dangerous, dangerous. No, 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 that's dangerous. Stop, 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 stop. Moving on. All right, first midfielder on the list. You guys might not agree with this one, but this is my personal opinion. I think that Frankie De Jong can dominate, and I mean dominate the midfield in these upcoming years. Frankie De Jong has been in the league since he was 17. Of course, it's not as good as the Spanish league, but he was in the Dutch league. He came up. He got bought by Ajax. He was literally an Ajax prodigy. He was used even though in his young age. Frankie de Jong was a very, very important player in that Ajax won in the Champions League a couple years ago. We have seen what he can do. We have seen what he is capable of doing. They won in Barcelona. Barcelona has been having problems. They haven't been playing him at his full potential. But now that Barcelona has a manager like Ronald Koeman, and I don't know what this whole trend that Koeman's been going for Dutch players left and right, the Dutch players that he already has, he will probably use them to the best of the ability. Koeman is familiar with a player like Frankie de Jong because Koeman was manager for the Netherlands and Frankie de Jong is from the Netherlands. So he knows how to use him. So he will use him. And Frankie de Jong has the skill, the talent to come back defensively, intercept the ball, bring it up, and sometimes even assisting. Not a lot of players can do that. But the way Frankie de Jong does it, barely at a 23 years of age, already one of the best midfielders in the entire world of football. And that's because he hasn't been at the best of his game. We have only begun to see what he can really do. And I know he right now he's 23 and he's a little bit older on the list. But in 10 years from now, he's going to be 33. Luka Modric literally won the Ballon d'Or at 33. So why can't Frankie? A couple of honorable mentions I wanted to mention, you know, in this whole dominating the next decade of football. Erling Haaland is already on the list, you know, with goal scoring machine. Another one would be, in my opinion, Mason Greenwood has a bright future ahead of him. Then dare I say, Charlie Rodriguez. Okay. All right. So now moving on to the final person on this list. Now, this player, in my opinion, is going to be, dare I say, probably the top dog amongst all of this list. This guy, is, he's got his future ahead of him. He is 25 right now, but in this position, they're able to play up to 35 as we saw some of the greats do it. This guy's name is Kepa Arrizabalga. This guy is absolutely insane. He is Chelsea FC's goalie. Nobody can get past him. He makes no mistakes. Sorry, I had to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I'm sorry. No, he's gar. He, he's dog shit. He's garbage. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Please. Jokes aside, here's the actual number five spot. In my opinion, Alfonso Davies is going to be one of the best players to play on the left-hand side in this upcoming decade. This Canadian, he literally came from the MLS, Bayern bottom, out of nowhere. We were like, what? We were like, who? We were like, when? Why? Where? What happens? What happens? Bayern plays him. He is originally a left mid. Who's Bayern's left mid? Perisic, you know, they have a Coleman, you know, they had a lot of players that they can play on the left-hand side. They have a lot of players. But what did they do? This kid was so good that they forced him into the starting lineup. This kid is literally 19 years old and forced himself on the starter spot in a Champions League winner squad. Think about that. Bayern Munich has been playing Alaba on their left back position for years. For years. And this 19 year old Canadian comes up and moves, forces Bayern to move Alaba to a central defender position and takes his left back role that has been been there for years and what does alfonso davies do impresses nobody but the entire 
world. Alfonso Davies, today and age, is one of the best fullbacks in the world of football at 19 years old. 19 years old. We can only imagine what he can do. He has pace. He has good track backs. He has great defensive. He has amazing skill. He can assist. He can go. He can do all of these things. And honestly, that's a huge dub for Cap. Canada was falling behind in this whole CONCACAF, you know, USA versus Mexico, but Canada with Alfonso Davies, that can be huge for their national team. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to let me know by following me on Twitter, follow me on TikTok, because I've actually been posting a lot of um, football TikToks over there, so if you haven't followed me on TikTok already, do so, link in the description. Alright, well, I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!